Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Steam VR Error 499. It's pretty easy to fix, so try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do is check all of the cables for Steam VR, including HDMI, USB, and power. This is the biggest issue for Steam VR errors. And uh, if possible, switch to a different port on your PC uh, to rule out port issues. Port issues are more uh, important than you think. Uh, my PC, for example, my desktop, uh, some USB ports are 3.0 and some are not. So Steam VR will only work on some ports. So that is the first thing that you want to try. Okay, after you've done that and you've totally ensured that hardware is not the issue, you want to restart your PC and Steam VR. And of course, the next step is to take a look at your drivers to make sure that they are up to date. Great, so uh, after you've done all that, make sure that Steam VR itself is up to date. So go into Steam. Find Steam VR in your library, right click, go to properties, go to updates and click on immediately download updates to make sure that they are up to date. Okay, now let's do some uh, a little bit more advanced things. Okay, launch Steam VR. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to remove all Steam VR USB devices and I'll show you how to do that. So click on the three little lines here, go to developer, developer settings. Scroll down and click on remove all Steam VR USB devices. At the same time, you want to unplug your VR headset from the PC for about 30 seconds. Close Steam VR, plug it back in and allow Windows to reinstall the drivers to see if that fixes the issue. By the way, while you're here, you want to enable direct display mode. What this means is that it will ensure that the uh, VR headset is not recognized as a monitor by Windows, but instead it is recognized as an input for Steam VR. So try to enable this to see if that fixes the issue. Okay, you've done all of this. Now it still isn't working. So what do you do? Just to rule out any kind of software issues, you want to right click on Steam VR, go to properties, go to install files and go to verify integrity of game files. This takes a couple of minutes to finish. So try to do that. The next thing you want to do is check the BIOS and UEFI settings for USB. What does that mean? So you want to restart your PC and enter BIOS mode. Usually this is F2, delete or F12. You want to look for USB settings, especially anything related to USB 3.0 and make sure that they are set correctly. And you want to consider disabling USB legacy support if it's enabled. While you're in your BIOS, you might want to consider to check the homepage for your BIOS to see if there are any updates. If you have an old computer, for example, um, it does not support USB 3.0, so you will need to update it. Make sure that that is the case. The next thing you want to do is uh, allow it through your network and your firewall. So go into settings. Then from here on the left hand side, you'll see network and internet. From here, you're going to see whatever internet you're connected to. And uh, make sure to click on, I'm connected to Ethernet, so I'm gonna click on Ethernet. And you want to make this into a private network. By default, this is going to be a public network. So make sure that this is clicked. The next thing you want to do is run Steam VR in compatibility mode. So, okay. You want to click on File Explorer on the bottom left of your screen. Go to C. From here, go to Program Files. From here, go to Steam. Steam apps, common, Steam VR, bin, and Win64 because I'm on a 64 bit system. If you are a Win32 bit system, then click Win32, of course, Win64. And from here, you want to find a file called vrserver.exe. Here it is, you want to right click on this, click on properties. From here, there is a compatibility tab. Click on that and here you will see compatibility mode. Okay, you want to click on run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 or Windows 8 
Um, even if you're not running on Windows 7 or Windows 8, this is still might fix your issue. So give it a try. And that is it. That is uh, how you fix this issue. If this helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. Thank you very much.